I baked our wedding cake myself. I've always loved baking for special occasions. My next recipe is a divine idea to transform a simple cupcake. These are lemony cupcakes, which I've added some freeze-dried strawberries to, so it's all a bit of a surprise when you get inside. This is a nice, easy, all-in-one sponge. So, two eggs, 100 grams of baking spread. You could use butter if you prefer, but it's got to be soft. 150 grams of caster sugar and the same of self-raising flour. Then I'm going to grate some lemon in there, just the zest of an unwaxed lemon. And finally, three tablespoons of milk and the ingredient that takes these out of the everyday. Freeze-dried strawberries, and you get a wonderful flavour of the strawberry, and it's lovely to come across. And then whisk together until pale and creamy. I've got a couple of tricks to make the perfect cupcake. If you stand them in a, a muffin tin or a bun tin, that means they'll keep us perfect shape and I use an ice cream scoop. It's quite useful to do it this way when you're doing quite a lot, and it's a way of getting them all even. So there's the last one. So those go into the oven, 160 fan, for about 18 or 20 minutes. And now for the topping. It's an unconventional topping. It's a meringue. Whisk two egg whites in a spotlessly clean bowl until they look like clouds. Then slowly add 100 grams of caster sugar, still on full speed. That is perfect. Once the cupcakes are done, I knead them completely cold before I get to the fun bit. This is the exciting part because it's different from all the other cupcakes. I'm giving each cake a luscious lemon curd surprise. I'm making quite a big hole because I want to get quite a bit of lemon curd in there. Then take the lemon curd and put it in the middle. You can imagine these are going to be really good. To top it off, my touch of flamboyance. It's as light as a feather, a bit like a lemon meringue pie. Now we come to the swirling. So just spread those quite carefully to the edge, and then you want the most wonderful sort of swirly top. And for the finishing touch, I have finally succumbed to a blowtorch. I've always had a grill up until now, but I have to admit that it's rather efficient. They look really spectacular. I reckon these are a real show-off, perfect for that special tea. Do you know, that's wickedly delicious. Mm.